Begin by unpackaging your gear and laying it out so that you can begin inspecting the components. Next, inspect the power cable terminals. They should both be free of corrosion. Confirm that the battery pack is in good condition by inspecting each side of it for any gaps, cracks, or other damage that may lead to water intrusion. Check the battery pack charge level by pressing the button on the LED display. Inspect the battery pack terminals for corrosion. They should only be gold. You can leave the battery pack disconnected and store it in the battery compartment for now. Next, you should confirm that the snorkel tube o-rings are in good condition. Make sure they're free of any scratches, tears, and make sure there's no debris like sand. Also, press to confirm that the drip cap is fully installed. Now you can remove the intake plug and set it aside. You are now ready to connect the battery pack. Unscrew the dust cap and then line up the power cable connector with the battery pack connector. You should now hear this startup tone. Fully thread the connector. This is very important to making sure that the connector is waterproof sealed. Unlock the flotation tube valve by threading it away from the valve. Press in on the valve and exhale into it until the tube is fully inflated. This should usually take around 4 breaths, but may take more. Check that the tube is fully inflated and then lock the flotation tube valve so that air cannot leak out. Install the flotation tube onto the flotation foam by pressing the clips through and then sliding the inner ring of the flotation tube over the foam. Only press the ring of the flotation tube down on the foam by about a quarter of an inch. You're now ready to clip the flotation tube to the main body. You'll find the clips at each corner of Nemo. There should be four total. After fastening the clips on the other side, pull up on the flotation tube to make sure that it is secure. Insert the snorkel tube into the air intake, firmly pressing it in by about one inch. It's now time to put on the dive harness. Hold the harness out in front of you. The smart reg side of the harness should be in your right hand. Lift the harness up and over the back of your neck so that the harness attachment point is centered on your neck. Using your right hand, wrap the main strap around your back and grab it with your left hand. Connect the main buckle and pull on the D-ring to tighten the strap. Next, connect the chest strap buckle and pull on the D-ring to tighten the chest strap. You'll want to make sure that your chest strap is horizontal and not at an angle like the image shown in the right. Otherwise, you'll need to adjust the chest strap using the hook and loop on the right side of your body. Check the tightness of the harness by pulling upward on the harness attachment point. It should not move far from your neck, otherwise there could be tugging on the smart reg while diving. Also confirm that there is enough air hose from the smart reg to the harness attachment point. You can now turn the smart reg knob to the on position. Press the purge button to check for airflow. Next, take a couple deep breaths from the smart reg to make sure the system is working properly. Turn the smart reg back to the off position until you are ready to dive.